Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Goody Bunches. The face video again because I ran out of time to edit some of the footage that I filmed for you. Sorry about that. So uh, I will do these sort of videos every now and again when I've run out of time <laughs> to do something more constructive. So this week, why have I been busy? I've been busy playing with my birthday presents, which I was lucky enough to get last weekend. And I thought I'd show you them. <laughs> I'd also show you, um, well yeah, I'll show you the, some of the samples from the videos that I have I have filmed and I will get around to editing. But I'm going to show you how to do a granny triangle. Awful lighting, sorry about that. I just I look like I'm being interrogated, but otherwise I look like, that last video I looked like I was in a hole, so, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to do this granny triangle which means you can make a lovely shawl. Obviously this isn't going to fit me, <laughs> but a dolly you could fit that for. Um, I've had a request to do pot holders. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So essentially the video is how to make a pretty pot holder, but it is going to be how to do a granny circle. And I seem to be addicted to these granny things, but really aren't they just, it's cute, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a little pot holder that hangs up like that. And I had to do a small one <laughs> for the video because there's only so much I can show on my camera, on the camera screen. And, you know, I like to do it up close so that you can see what I'm doing. So that's the little one. And shame on me, I haven't sewn in my ends yet. But it's, um, that's a small one, obviously. And I think, I can't remember now. I think I explained this. I must do. I can't remember now. So that's what I've been make, making video wise. And for my birthday, I was a very lucky girl and I got some lovely books and I got unexpected Afghans. And that has got some really, that's, that's the back cover. That looks like knitting, doesn't it? That one, it's not, it's uh, crochet, but it's got some really pretty patterns in it. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's fabulous, isn't it? That's really simple to do as well. So yeah, I really liked that book. That was a really nice book. So Unexpected Afghans, Innovative Crochet Designs with Traditional Techniques by Robin, oh dear, sorry Robin, Chachula, sorry. It's a pretty name, but I'm really sorry. I'm terrible at pronouncing names. I'll put a link in the description box down, to down below of what this is. Down below. <laughs> um, this one, I love this book. 300 classic blocks for projects, crochet projects. And I've decided that I'm going to make one of every one of these <laughs> motifs and I'm going to join them all together. So there's going to be like a a, mo a blanket made of all these motifs put together crazy I'm not very good with random so I thought that would challenge my random <laughs> skills because that will be random look how cute these things are very simple um, and most the ones I've done so far which are in a bag over there so I'm not going to get them they're all like some of them like that big so I don't think it's going to make a very big thing but then there is 300 of them so that will probably keep me quiet and I got to learn something new because I got this book, Tunisian Crochet Stitch Guide. I've had a go at Tunisian Crochet before, but it turns out I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> because I learnt a lot from this book. Now this book is really good, but it's very confusing for me because it's got lovely sort of, you know, this is what all the symbols mean and my last video was about diagram so you know I like a diagram but it starts off with your simple stitches things back to front and moves on to non-simple stitches not very hard to do but all the diagrams for how to actually do the stitch are handily at the back <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why these can't be with the actual stitch but they are there, so and they're good diagrams, but I don't understand why they can't be with the, the stitch description. It just seems a little bit off kilter to me. But having said that, it's a really good book. And that, look at that. That's 
I love that. And I have, I have made something and I'm going to go and get it so I shall come back. I'm back. So when I say I've made something, I really do mean I've made something. And then I made this something. <laughs> and this is called a honeycomb stitch. And if you follow me on Instagram, I did put a picture of this up, up close. Um, there you go. You can see that with variegated yarn, doesn't it look gorgeous? And it's lovely and thick. And it's nice and firm. And this is the only stitch I managed to do that didn't curl up because, and I read, I was did some reading, and with crochet, your stitches, they will sit on top of the previous row. But with Tunisian crochet, you use, I'll show you the hooks in a second, you use a long hook and you're actually doing the stitch on the front of the work. You never turn the work around when you're doing it. So it is going to curl because you're doing the stitch on the front so it is going to naturally curl up which it does apart from this stitch which was nice because I was getting a little bit frustrated with it but I think I might turn that into a little purse that'll look cute won't it and to do my Tunisian crochet I was lucky enough to get a set of hooks and my mum gave them to me my mum gave me the, the books and um, my husband gave me some of the books as well and she made me this case to put them in isn't that just adorable? She's so clever, I could never do that. So yeah, she made me this really adorable case to put my tu my Tunisian crochet hooks in. And if you've never seen a Tunisian crochet hook, it's got a nice flap here. It looks like a knitting needle, but it has a hook at this end. So I'm pretty sure that most of you, you know, have done crochet, Tunisian crochet, have seen it. If you haven't, I'm still learning, but I may do a couple of videos on them and I am no way an expert in this, or crochet, no one's an expert in anything. And yeah, I may get it wrong, but I'm gonna be learn <laughs> learning from my book. So I'm doing what my book says and I want a good girl and I do what I'm told. So that is the long crochet hook and you work the stitches onto, onto the hook. It's a very strange thing to do when you're used to doing crochet and then you look like you're using a knitting needle it's very strange it is completely half and half of knitting and crochet I would say but anyway that's what I've been up to so I've been very very lucky and I had a great time and I had lovely presents so I'll have a quick sip of tea and I think that'll be it for my little video this week so so I look like I've been interrogated. I honestly played with the light for about 20 minutes before this. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I shall be back soon with a proper video, not just my face. And um, yes, give me a thumbs up if you like this sort of video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't, because I won't do it again. <laughs> no, I will. I'll do it more if you thumbs down. So yeah, okay, I'm going now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got I'll put links to my previous tutor lessons in the description box below and you know what's coming up now so and um, as always if you have any questions or suggestions please do drop me a line in the comment box below I read all my comments good and bad and I try to reply to them all so thank you very much for the people who do take the time to say hello and come and say hello to me on Facebook Twitter Instagram I would love to, to say hi and see what you've been making so I'll say bye for now <laughs> again all right bye